Alright, what's going on everyone? This is going to kind of be a harsh video, but uh, oh well, it got to be like that sometimes, but you know, I'm just sitting here just thinking about life and I'm watching this documentary on Jimi Hendrix and you know, how his life was and how people were stealing his manager was stealing money from him and you know it was all about the money and then the circumstances of how he died you know was it was it murder did somebody kill him you know it's you know all these things that are just just meaningless and just you know just evil and stupid and dumb and you know, and and I even ask myself a lot of times, you know, I say, you know, the very thing that I am, I don't like. Like sometimes I, I, I look at man like a plague, you know, I look at, I look at the world like a disease, like a plague. And it's, you know, basically here's what I'm saying. If, if you're not doing what you love to do, and I'm not doing what I love to do, there's no point to anything. Because when I'm not doing things that I like to do and staying busy and content, you know, I'm about to heat up my water. I'm about to put some of my Folgers instant coffee in it. I'm about to enjoy my coffee, enjoy my morning, you know. These little things that that I enjoy that keep me going, but when I'm not enjoying them things and I'm not doing what I like, it's like, you know, I, I don't want to sound, you know, because I make other videos about being grateful and being thankful, and I am thankful, but... When we're not doing nothing, what are we doing when we're not doing nothing? You know, we're, we're getting in trouble and we're, you know, a, an idle mind is your own crazy workshop, not the devil's workshop. It's your own messed up workshop with a bunch of crazy stuff going on in there. And when I'm not doing nothing, it's just like, 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 what's the point? Like, it's just like wasting away, you know? And th this is why I talk about life being meaningless, but yet we're trying so hard every day. And we're, we're going after this thing that it's like you're chasing a boogeyman. Like you're, you're going after this thing in life that it's not really there. It's a figment of your imagination, whatever it be. You know, even with me, I know that I'm chasing, you know, the wind a lot of times. I know that I'm chasing something that's really not there sometimes. And I, and I see myself doing this and then I just think it's pointless. It's meaningless. What, what is, I'm going to be alive. I'm 34 years old, and then sooner or later, I'm going to be dead, just like the rest of everybody in history. You know, I, I, this is really hard for people to understand that having kind of died to self. Like, I can't explain this to people that are still in this worldly, societal way of living I can't explain it but I am thankful for the small things I am thankful for my life and I'm thankful when you know things are going well and stuff then when things are going bad yes those bad things teach me things but then I'm like you know what is the point of this you know what what is the what is the 
what, what does it mean? It, it doesn't mean nothing. And I keep telling myself that it just doesn't mean nothing. And that's not a bad thing that it doesn't mean nothing because it, it teaches me not to try and it teaches me to just give up and just, you know, say it's another day, make the best out of it, drink your cup of coffee, enjoy the cup of coffee, enjoy making the music that I have been luckily genetically given the ability to make you know, but, uh, I'll use this as an example, you know, uh, The Rock, his father had just passed away, and I watched a video where he was doing a eulogy to his father, and I understand that is his father, and he loved his father, and he, he cared deeply for his father, and his father was his role model, and you know, and as I was watching it, you know, it made me a little emotional too. But then on the other hand, I'm like, you know, you got people that are, they die and then they're in the casket and then you're there and you're looking at them when they're dead and you're, you're having this big ceremony and stuff. And it's kind of like, you know, they do it for them. It's not for the dead because the dead is dead. The dead is dead. The dead is not aware of anything that's going on at a funeral. They're, they're gone. And this is why me, I'm against funerals. I don't, I don't go to funerals no more. And you know, let me take that back. I'm not against them. It's just that when someone is gone, they're gone. And, and, when when I'm there, it's like I'm there for me. And I know that I don't have to do that in order to, to have known the person when they were alive and to have talked to them when they were alive, you know. It's it sounds really harsh and people are gonna take it wrong, but you know, when someone dies, they're they're gone. They're gone and they're not there no more. And it's like, no, you just don't want to throw their bodies to the curb and just do whatever, you know, I'm not saying that, but it's like when I'm gone, I am gone. I don't want people, you know, doing all this stuff with me and having me in an open casket and stuff and all that. Put me in, in a thing, bury me, or burn me. Do something, I'm gone. Remember, remember me for the, the great times and remember me for when I was alive. You know, it's, I, I don't know. I'm not getting deep into that. I didn't do the video for that, but that is a whole nother thing that just, just everything that society does is, I am just completely against, I am completely against everything now that society does, like almost everything, you know, like the standards of society and the political correctness and, and how people talk to one another and how people interact and do certain things. It, it just, it will never be me no more. And I get stuck in these situations because I don't have no choice. I have to go to a pharmacy to get my script. I got to talk to people there. You know, I got to talk the lingo. I got to talk the societal lingo, you know, and this isn't how people really are is what I'm saying. It is when you're by yourself and you are alone and you're not around other people, you don't talk like you do when you're around other people and you don't say the things that you say when you're around someone that you're around all the time, like your family or, you know, something like that. 
you don't talk the same way. So why do you talk that way when you're out in public or around other people? It makes no sense to me. You know, there's like this, there's like this, uh, this assuming and this expectation to try and be something or show something, you know, and I know that it's not making a lot of sense to people, but it's really weird. I can't, I can't explain it, but, and I know some people, they won't even watch this video because they won't give it a chance because they're so stuck in their, they're so stuck in the way that the world is doing things and the way that everybody else is doing stuff. And it's like, sometimes I really wonder if people are really doing research into things and they're really finding things out for themselves and they're looking at themselves in the mirror and they're asking themselves questions and they're you know they're doing things that not everyone else is doing you know because i hear so many ignorant stupid people nowadays when i when i hear people talk they act like they know something and they don't know nothing and then they put on this front like if someone asks are you a christian or a catholic oh i'm catholic oh i'm christian okay well you're claiming you're christian and you're claiming you're catholic but but you don't even read the bible and you don't you you don't even go to church or nothing but oh i'm i'm a catholic because my grandmother was catholic i'm a christian because my dad was a christian you know like it's like these people say these things to impress other people to to fit in you know it, it's there's this saying that i think dan pina said he said something in the terms of People that are politically correct are people that want people to love them and like them. That's why they're politically correct. Because they, they're, they're looking for that, that approval from other people. And see, I'm at this point right now in my life at 34 years old where I am not seeking anybody's approval. I could give a shit about people's approval. Now... I am going for getting my music out and, and letting people hear what I make as a musician and the things that I write and stuff, you know, I'm, I'm preparing to put that out. If I get to that day to do that, I, I don't know, I don't know how old I'm going to live to be, but there's too much of this this standard thing going around and there's too much of this i have to fit in and there's too much of this assuming and expectations and these situations that we get put into in society like when you go to a church you know it's everyone is sitting in the pews facing the show you know facing the preacher and the the music and and stuff and it's just so set up it's just so fake and set up and see i run away from that i run away from set up assumed expected situations because that's not me i go with the flow i go with my nature as a human being and there's not too many people doing that and, and because they're putting on this front. They're putting on this front for society and trying to live up to the standards and impress people. And I see it all the time. And I, I don't understand why people think that they have to do that. I, I really don't get it. And then, you know, I get answers once in a while in my comments. And I get, I get answers from other people in comments that I may I write my own comments in other videos not my own videos and they'll write me some ignorant stupid response that they have no idea what they're talking about 
they'll just write whatever comes to their mind when it comes to their mind because they don't know nothing. They don't do research for themselves. They don't do anything. And like I said, I said this in some of my other videos. My videos are going to be up and down. It's not always going to be, you know, a one-sided message. I'm going to get into the, the, the things that nobody talks about neither and needs to be talked about. You know, it's 2020 and just the, the more we go into the, this, the, this life and the more that I just see things and I watch documentaries and I watch people explain their life stories and, and talk about things and I learn new things, I'm just seeing more and more how you know, I don't want to, I don't want to not like my fellow man. I really don't. I, I, I don't want to not like people, but there is just some people deep down. I, I want the best for them and I hope they have everything they need like food, water, shelter, and clothing. But besides that, Stay the hell away from me because some of these people they're 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 like a cancer. They're like they're like a plague to society and other people. They just are. And you know what? It's their fault, but it's kind of not their fault because they don't know better. They haven't they haven't plunged into their the depths of their own being. They haven't looked at themselves enough. I looked at myself for years and years and years and I did not like, I did not like and I still don't like some of the things that I see in me and my nature, but it's who I am. And you see, that's why I say sometimes I'm disgusted at me and my own nature, but it's not to the point to where I, it, it's hard to explain. It's not to the point to where I, I hate myself. I just see it for what it is, but there's other people that are not seeing it for what it is. And then they're pointing the finger and then they're putting on this politically correct stuff. And they're, they're, they're putting on for people, you know, putting on the facade and the mask when there is so much more that lies beneath that we are too scared to get to. We're, we're too fearful to show that side of us. How many people do you know that are really showing you their true side? Just how many people and don't, and, 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 and don't think that people are showing you all of who they are because they're not. They're not showing you all of who they are because if they did, you would not like what you see. And you know what though? It would be better though if we did do this and we showed our real selves and we got past the what we don't like, what we see. Then maybe we can move on as a species and we can get better. But we're plagued with this because people are still putting on. People are still trying to impress. People are still trying to be what they're not. They're trying to live up to society's standards. They're assuming and expecting things. And it'll never work. It'll never work. And that's why I always been an outcast. I always been an outcast. I used to wear outcast clothes that was made by the, the rap group Outcast because I was an outcast. That's why I wore it. And, and I always been, even when I was around people, I was a loner because even when I was around people, I never felt like I fit in with a group of people because they weren't talking about the same thing that I was and, and they weren't, they weren't showing the real them. They would talk one way 
when it was just me and them. See, here, here's how I can prove to you by what I'm saying. It is not some, you know, oh, you're just saying this. This is your opinion and all this and that. No, it's not because I have been with so many people because I was the guy, not boasting, but I was the guy that was around so many people because I wanted to get to know people by themselves and who they really were. And I was with them and they were one way when they were with me. And then when they got around other people, they completely changed. Their whole facade changed. Their whole demeanor changed. Some of them became more aggressive. Some of them became more ignorant and, you know, putting on this, uh, this thing like they're, you know, they're, they're one way when they're not really that way, you know. So I know this to be true. You know, I just don't tell, I just don't tell people this for no reason at all. And I tell this to people that watch these videos because why are, why are you and I not being you and I? Why are we not being us? Why, why are you not being you like I'm being me? You know, I'm being me when I'm saying this stuff. I'm not holding no punches back. I mean... I can curse a little more and I can get a little more, you know, aggressive with it, but, but I don't need to do that. I can get my point across how I'm talking, you know, and, 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 and trust me, sometimes I want to come across a lot stronger because it's something that bothers me, but yet it teaches me something. See, it, it's life is very strange you know there is no word to put on life <laughs> there's no one particular word that you can put on life and this labeling that we do and, and saying that this person's this and oh this person i don't like them because they dress this way and this person uh look at how they they act and what they do and this labeling that we do, it's just so childish and it's so old and, and, you know, but some people don't know no better because they're ignorant. They don't know no better because no one has ever taught them or they never taught themselves or they haven't got that far in life yet to have went through things. And I can't blame some people and I don't want to blame people. I'm just saying this is how people really are. You know, I can sit here and tell you everything's cool in, in, in another video and stuff. And if I ever slip and say something like that, which I don't think I will, then that's, I made a mistake because I won't, I won't talk like that. You know, it's, I have to remind myself to be thankful for small things, to keep myself from, you know, just, I don't know, just being something that I don't want to be, you know, and then there's other things that, that I remind myself of. And that's why I made a video about remembering, because when you remember where you came from, you won't repeat the same things and you will do certain things that you never did before because you remember what you didn't or you did do that might have hurt you or someone else. And it's just, you know, life is just a learning experience, really. That's all it is. And some people do foolish things for money and fame and, and greed and, and lust and all kinds of stuff. And then some people, you know, they have this natural thing where they don't need to be like that where they're just them and they do what they do not saying they're any better than the other people but that's just how life is you know life sucks sometimes but then life is great on the other hand but i don't know it's weird i watch this uh when the seasons change 
something happens with my mind. My mind changes too when the seasons change. I can't explain it. It happens all the time. You know, it's going into March and I can just tell that it's turning into spring. You know, this happens every spring and every fall. I just get this, this, uh, like my mind is, uh, you know, uh, renewing itself or it's, uh, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know the word. It does something. So, you know, when the leaves come back on the trees, something happens. When the leaves fall off the trees, something happens. So, and then it, I just start thinking about everything, history and, you know, people that were murdered and, and things that took place within my life and others lives and then I think about people that ain't here no more and then I watch these documentaries and it's like this stuff comes flooding in my head and I just sit and think about it and it's a little overwhelming but I talk about it you know what else can I do I can't do nothing else but talk about it so I'm about to heat up some water, make my coffee, and, you know, go about my day. It's another day, you know, and great day to everybody, whoever got this far in the video. I know a lot of people won't even watch the video. You know, I don't have that many people to watch my videos anyway, so who knows? Maybe one day it'll reach a big crowd and, you know... It'll actually uh, do a little bit of something, you know, not that it's going to really change too much of anything because the world just keeps going and it doesn't stop. So there's really nothing that I can say that even will have a really huge impact anyway. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I never know nothing. I don't ever assume to know. I don't ever expect nothing. You know, this is the kind of guy I am. I just go with the flow. Just let the river go downstream. I'm out. Later, y'all.